Hey, this is Linda and Charles with Muscle White Consulting. We're a digital marketing agency that subscribes to the seven pillars of digital marketing. Websites, content, email, social media, online ads, and video. And reviews and testimonials. Oh, Don't and forget, reviews and testimonials. They are so, so <laughs> important. And listen, today we have the distinct honor and privilege to introduce one of our mentors, literally one of our mentors in the marketing world. This is a man who has built a multi seven figure insurance agency been around for quite a while let him tell the story runs a very profitable and successful mentoring program that I absolutely love we participate in because we get so much out of it and we are marketers this guy though look you want to talk about social proof let's start from the beginning so we have one of his books we have another one of his books and it, man these books are filled with nuggets of gold I don't care what business you're in, if you read these books and take notes and just put take action on 10%, I promise you'll see the needle move. This gentleman has also written a book called The Unstoppable Profit Producer. And uh, Mike, as you know, um, I took this book to Fiji with me, uh, <laughs> couldn't put it down, had to take a picture in Fiji overlooking the ocean just to let you know that that, that book made such a, an, an impact on us. And then also, as we all know, success leaves clues. We can do all these things and talk to all these folks, but at the end of the day, when you get recognized in your industry periodical, and folks, if you're in insurance, you know what Rough Notes are all about. When you make the cover of Rough Notes, um, you have arrived at some level of achievement. <laughs> so listen, without further ado, because I could butcher it all day long, but without further ado, I simply want to introduce our friend, our mentor, and partner in a lot of things, Mike Stromso. <laughs> thank you you it, too kind but uh you know i just love what i do it's all there's to it and i love you know there's nothing better than helping somebody else who wants to be helped and when somebody else wants to be helped and is willing to do something with whatever you give to them and it makes a difference in their lives and we could go on for hours about the stories of people that have been involved in our programs who have taken some of the things in those books and done something with them. Their lives have com completely changed for the better, and it's being paid in forward. And, you know, I haven't even shared this with you guys yet because uh, it's still in the package. It just came onto my desk in the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. This is a, a special coin that uh, we're going to be giving out to people, and it says, pass it on, please, because at the end of the day, this is what it's about. Uh, the back of the coin says the bearer of this coin must do one good deed for another and pass the coin on. And ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about because, you know, the law of reciprocity is always in effect, as you guys know. You've heard me say that a lot. Uh, when you do something good for somebody else, and I believe in my heart of hearts, the key is without the intention of something coming back or getting the out, just do it for the good of doing good. Great things are going to happen. And, uh, you know, uh, my life is just so blessed and filled with those things because of just the opportunity to help other people. I get it. I get it. And I agree. <laughs> yes. As you say. So, uh, you're right. We could tell stories on and on and on, but folks, let me just share one story. So there's a gentleman who was in Hawaii and I know the story summary goes something like he started his practice with $237 in his pocket. Seven years later, he crossed over seven figures. Uh, and that's a lot due in part to, uh, uh, to this gentleman right here, Mike Stromso, and one other that I'll just tell real quick, very uh, successful individual who is up north in California, and he says 100% of his success is due in large part to just talking and being in Mike's, uh, Mike's conferences. So look, we could sit here and have the whole story about how'd you get here, but uh, I, I challenge you that if you, over the next few minutes, if you hear something that tweaks your interests, uh, makes you sit up in your seat, Reach out to Mike. His, all of his contact information is going to be here, but uh, don't let the opportunity pass you by. This is a man who loves to share what he's got and has a proven track record of helping others become successful. So, Mike, let's just talk about this. In your so, two things: how long have you been at it, and then what is the number one challenge that you see with insurance uh, companies out there today? Well, I, I'm going to ask you answer your question with a question with no disrespect sure. uh, because you've got to be specific to be terrific, <laughs> right? But been at what? The insurance industry? Yeah. Okay. Your, um, your living laboratory. Right. The living agency laboratory. 
You know, I, I've just surpassed uh, recently my 30th year. I'm right in the middle of it, 30 and a half years. And December is going to be 31 years as, as a proud independent insurance agent. Uh, there's been lots of wins and lessons. Been there, done that. And the great thing is I get to still be doing it. Mm. And I didn't say I have to. I get to still be doing it. So uh, after a period of time, a lot of people noticed that they thought I was somewhat successful as what I was doing. They started hearing more. Uh, they said, tell us what you do. Uh, I proved to them what I've done. You know, recently we grew from zero to a million dollars in revenue in less than nine years. I guess that's pretty credible to many people, uh, grateful for it. And they said, how did you do that? I said, it's easy. You just do this, this, and this. <laughs> and they said, well, can you teach us? And so at that point I thought, Wow, that's, that's kind of an interesting thought. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. And so I started thinking about how we can formalize this and make it something that we can deliver it to other people so that it can help them in a way that's meaningful, that has systems and processes so they can take it and implement it in their own business. So formally, it's been uh, about four and a half years now. The Unstoppable Profit Producer Program was born. Uh, we are helping people all over North America. We've got some internet, a little bit of international play now, uh, and uh, we couldn't be more excited. So uh, I'm a proud independent insurance agent. Uh, I run my own insurance agency. I've got a big team that takes care of things, which allows me time to go out there and help other people grow their businesses. Because the theory of the, the philosophy behind the uh, Unstoppable Profit Producer Program is this. It's all built on the philosophy of the three Ps. People, processes, and promotion in that order, okay? If you have excellent people, and that excellent person includes you. In fact, we were just working on the agenda for our next event yesterday, and I said we're going to talk about one of our items that we're going to be talking about is the three Ps of the three P, of the mm. first P. The three Ps of the first P, mm. because it is a lot deeper than one might think about. So anybody that shows up is going to hear that in explicit detail. So you got to have excellent people, including yourself. You have to have world-class processes and systems. And then simply after that, once you've got those in place, all you got to do is promote the heck out of it. You're going to grow your business. You're going to create financial wealth and security. And you're going to have more freedom to live life on your own terms, to go to Fiji, to go to New York City, or wherever it is you like to go. It's really that simple. And the great news is these principles apply to any business. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we agree. I mean, we come and we get so much out of it. I mean, the books that Charles had showed, I mean, there's there's notes, um, you know, there's things. We even brought our son who is a realtor, and he's gotten great information from there as well. But one thing that really stood out when you first started talking, Mike, was that you learn so much and you're sharing and helping people. You could have kept that all to yourself and just been super successful and you know, I mean, but no, you decided to open up your mind and your heart to help other independent insurance agencies and, and other businesses, because if, when we keep things in, all it, all it serves is ourself, but now you're just helping, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people. That's right. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Grateful. Uh, it, you know, there's nothing better. Like I said, I believe I said this in the beginning, there's nothing better than helping and inspire or teaching and inspiring other people who want to be taught and inspired. And I'll share a little tidbit. I was on the phone with my own coach, one of my own coaches this morning. And uh, we were talking about, so how's it going? He goes, are you bored or not challenged yet? I said, well, it's interesting you say that because, you know, when, when you reach a certain pinnacle, sometimes uh, you've got to find that next thing that will challenge you. And when you've been challenged as much as I have, it's hard to find that next big challenge. And recently it came. And it challenged me like nothing else has challenged me ever in my career. So uh, that's another thing that we'll be sharing at our upcoming event. I'm going to take it through explicit detail on what happened on that multi-seven-figure deal. It was brutal, but we won. Nice. So. Good for you, man. Yeah. Good for you. Hey, so listen, uh, the conference that you have is coming up in November. You're going to talk people, process, promotion. But let me ask this. As a marketing team, what is your, what do you feel, how important is marketing to the independent insurance agency? It's everything. I don't know, you guys, well, we, we all need to eat, right? Yes. We all need a place to lay our head at night if we're fortunate to have a bed with a soft pillow, say a warm home to lay our head in. 
We all, we all, we don't have to have those things. We get to have those things, but it's part of what we need, you know, in survival. So, um, my premise is if you're not marketing, you're never going to have those things that you need. I mean, you've got the market to grow your business and it's the only way to not only there, there's two sides of the business in my humble opinion. And this is how that I would share it with people. If we're sitting face to face virtually, right? It's getting more clients and keeping more of the clients you get. Hmm. It's really that simple. Okay. So once you get some clients, you want to put a fence around your herd, so to speak, mm. to keep those clients. You must market to do that, especially in today's noisy world. And when I say noisy, I'm talking about the fact that, you know, there's thousands of messages coming into people's sphere nowadays, whether it's in their inbox, the, you know, social media, uh, radio, TV, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, thousands of people are trying to get in your head to get you to cause to think things. So you've got to be right there. Uh, with your own herd. So, and then the getting more client side of it, uh, naturally you're going to lose a client from time to time. It's just reality. And if you don't think you are, you're fooling yourself in my mm -hmm. humble opinion. So you've got to continue the effort to get more clients as well. So sales and services, what some people call it. Uh, and you got to have back to the systems, people, processes, and promotion. So you got to have processes and systems in order to constantly be executing all of those things. Mm -hmm. And executing the retention and the sales, marketing is the driving factor for that. Hmm. That's really good. Charles and I had a quick little brainstorming session this morning, and um, you know, we're, hmm. we were talking about our current client base, especially when we get a new client, and what are our processes and systems. So we actually just revamped that. Um, so this morning we had a quick little brainstorming session. Tomorrow is our whole brainstorming day, as you know, the last Friday of every month. We get out of the office, we go somewhere, and we brainstorm all day. So uh, I'm, I'm very uh, curious to see what we come up with, but we have some good ideas so far. <laughs> and well, you are part and parcel responsible for a lot of those, my friend. <laughs> hopefully that's a good thing. Hey, let's let people in on a little secret, because they're probably wondering at this point, what the heck are they doing with these two fingers? <laughs> yes. Now, a lot of people say, I'll say, what does this mean when you see it? And they'll say, peace. I agree. I like peace, but it's it's a story that was born at our kitchen table with our kids. Okay, so we have six kids, and we're all sitting at the table. There's eight of us, and it's going cack cack cack. And I always had something to interject, and they would come. They finally come to me and say, "Well, what do you think?" And I'll say, "I started going like this it means I second or I agree with anything that you say." So. That kind of means that I agree or I second what you just said. <laughs> so, so for those who are watching, Mike's not referring back to the 60s or the 70s. It is important to, uh, that we just have that, that connection. Yes, Charles right. does it at home now, so I thank you. I do. You See, you've already worn off. <laughs> so we have four male children, and uh, some of the spouses and significant others aren't real pleased with me because they'll say, I try to talk to him, and he just goes like this. <laughs> so is it a guy thing? <laughs> Uh, they're, they're using it at, well, anyway, let's not go. <laughs> it might be a guy thing now, but I think it'll become a universal symbol uh, short enough. So, Mike, let's just talk about your conference because, I mean, really, that's what I want to share with folks. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we know that you're an accomplished uh, uh, independent insurance agency. I mean, that's, that's confirmed with 30 years in the industry. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I guess, you know, someone could be in the industry that long and not be successful, but most folks are going to wash out. So that, number one, is credible. And the fact that you now have a mentoring program to mentor other individuals, and I know you've got story after story after story of the success. One that jumps out at me is a gentleman who's down south who basically said, I don't have enough time and I don't have enough money to hire anybody. And then through your coaching, he finally brought somebody in, had a banner year, and went and had uh, two vacations that just knocked his socks mm -hmm. off that he's needed for so long. To me, that's another story of confirmation to apply the rules and principles that you teach can give you that lifestyle that you want. Mm -hmm. So when we show up or when they show up and they get their 2017 book, listen, step us through. What's the conference look like? I mean, who's going to be there? What are the things that you're going to address? Are they going to have actionable tips that they can take home and put to use? Well, you know, the great thing about that story that you were referring to, it uh, fortunately came to my mind who you're talking about. He hadn't had a family vacation in over 15 years. Wow. So that, my friends, has nothing to do with business. It has everything to do with life. And that's why we do what we do. So we're sharing everything 
that happens right here in our living agency laboratory. Uh, my, my teammate, uh, program director, Andrea Wyatt, was in here asking me yesterday, what are we going to talk about at the event? I said, it's not time yet to create the agenda. She goes, I need to get the agenda together. I said, it's not time. Because what we do is we bring the latest and greatest of everything that we do currently in our living agency laboratory to the agenda, to the event. See, you know, we're not somebody who's been there, done that. We're somebody who's been there, done that, and we're still doing it. So people get real world information from the trenches of a real, I like to think very successful business. And we share it with people exactly step by step, exactly what we do, all the wins, all the lessons were completely transparent and uh, we, we couldn't be more excited. So uh, this year's event uh, is going to be like no other and uh, everybody will, it'll be three days and uh, everybody's going to have uh, a blueprint when they leave uh, chocked full of information, chock full of that real world stuff all around the three P's, people, processes, and promotion. We're going to bring all three of those things into the blueprint. They're going to be able to take it away back to their lives. And, you know, uh, if you go search beunstoppablebootcamp.com, beunstoppablebootcamp.com, you'll see some of the stories from like last year's event. There's a gal uh, down towards the bottom of the page who's talking about uh, this is her second event that she's been to. And she likes the fact that she has that blueprint because, you know, three months after she'll go through some things and then she'll need a little refresher. She'll start going back through the blueprint manual and she go, aha, aha, aha. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it's all about. So uh, something else that we do that we have found to be extremely valuable is we bring people uh, to the event uh, to additionally teach uh, in an area of specialty. So this year uh, we could not be more excited to have Mr. Jeb, Jeb Blunt, uh, who is the author of eight books, uh, including <laughs> Fanatical Prospecting, most recently Sales EQ. He is going to be there live. We just did an Unstoppable Success interview with him. The dude is absolutely off the charts. I don't know anybody on the planet who knows more about the sales game. Salesgravy.com is Jeb. So salesgravy.com, go check him out. Uh, he's going to be there live teaching all about the getting him the more clients funnels okay so he's going to help people with that uh you know next uh we have rudy rudy uh, <laughs> the real the original phenomenal rudy rediger is going to be there uh live and what i found out when i was with rudy last december wow what an off the charts day that was rudy has an insurance industry background oh wow not. so that's going to fit really well and i was listening to him speak last december and about halfway through his story, he's telling the story about what he had to do to get the movie done, the famous movie, Rudy, Rudy. Um, he said, I had to do this, this, and this. And one night I had a meeting at this particular restaurant, and he dropped the name of the, the restaurant. Well, that restaurant was where I started working when I was, I was 12. It was my dad's restaurant <laughs> company. Wow. Oh I, I, I about fell off my chair. I was like, Meant to be, right? Mm, absolutely. Interesting what so, you see when you pay attention. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So uh, we've got some other uh, agents. We've got one of the uh, just published an industry magazine, published uh, the top 125 elite women in insurance nationally. Wow. Just published a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what, we're so honored that a couple of the people in that magazine on that list are part of our Unstoppable Profit Producer Program. I can't release the name yet because I just finished the deal yesterday, but one of those uh, two gals is going to be there speaking. Uh, she, her story, she's, she's so humble that she would never admit it, but her story is phenomenal, off the charts. Uh, a true zero to incredible success story. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of her and I couldn't be more excited that we're going to hear her story. She's going to be on stage sharing along with many other hundreds of other successful entrepreneurs in an environment. Uh, you know, somebody said, describe your environment. Well, our, what's different about our environment is it's progressive and aggressive people that generally attend our events. These are the real go-getters, the people who want to grow more, 
who want to create that wealth, who want to create that foundational security for their family and for their business, and who want to have that freedom. That's the kind of people that do attend because it's the law of reciprocity and like attracts like, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, there's hundreds of people that are in that on that same path, on that same journey as, as you might be, and I know you guys are, uh, anybody listening or watching this. Um, so that excites me so, and those are the kind of people that will take this stuff and will implement, execute, and take action, and that will change their lives forever. Yeah, and what's really great about the events is even though everyone's in the same industry, it doesn't feel like there's competition. Everyone's right. sharing each other's you know, stories, their successes, their failures with each other, regardless if they're the next town over or all the way across the United States or in Canada. Um, right. So I mean, everyone learns from each other, especially, you know, I know you have networking events and evening things and lunchtime together. So we just sat around different tables, you know, each day for lunch and just heard the stories. And right. it's awesome just the share that goes on. Well, That's what right. I'm reminded of is the Jim Rohn statement that you are uh, the product of the five people you hang around the most. Look, you want to sharpen yourself. Uh, and then someone else, I think it was John Asraf says, my, my goal is to always be the dumbest guy in the room so that I'm learning from all those around me. Listen, folks, this is what I've experienced at uh, Mike's conferences is uh, there are some very sharp, intelligent folks that are here uh, and, you know, and they're successful to some degrees. Uh, but the thing is they've invested in themselves. They're taking three days out of their calendar to be in this room. Why? Because Mike has a world-class conference, not theory, based upon his own living agency laboratory and the fact that he's got a long list of success stories that just confirm the stuff that works. Again, you need to come check this out. He's, uh, again, Mike Stromso is an author. He's uh, been recognized in the industry. He's got his own agency for 30 years, all going on 31 years. He's got his own uh, boot camp, and then he's got his own mentoring program. Mike, I mean, what else is there that folks need to know to learn just to come check you out and ask some questions? Well, you know, I'm writing down because some people might be wondering, what kind of getup do I have on today? <laughs> let's, let's talk about the promotion for, again for just a second or the marketing, what we all love, right? Yeah. So this is a, a niche persona that I've created. I am the insurance doc, myinsurancedoc.com. People can check that out. But, you know, so I carry around these prescription pads. And ultimately, at the end of the day, uh -huh. that's the only thing that will change anything. Mm -hmm. You know, you can think about it all you want, you can talk about it all you want, but only action will really cause the change that you want. So be unstoppablebootcamp.com. It's there 24 seven. There's lots of video testimonials. You can check out Mr. Kevin Harrington, one of the original sharks on Shark Tank who was there last year. He's got some words about his experience with the Unstoppable Power Producer Program and, and lots of other stuff. But, you know, uh, if you're wondering if there's any risk involved, I'm here to tell you there's not. Mm. Um, we've taken away all the risk. If you come to the Be Unstoppable Boot Camp, and after the first day you decide, hey, this was a waste of my time, waste of my money, you just let us know. We will give you uh, refund all of your tuition, and we will give you $500 towards your travel expenses, and we'll part friends. It's really that simple. So we've removed all of the risk, and uh, ultimately at the end of the day, we add something on. I used to say, all we want is your success. We do want your success. All we want is your success, and we just want you to make your money. <laughs> I had to add that up for the sales team because they said I did. <laughs> that's, that's what I want. That's what we want for you. So, uh, you know, we, we could go on a lot about uh, the content. It's going to be the people, the processes, promotion, you know, uh, online and offline marketing. We're going to talk a lot about that. I believe that if you want to reach 100% of the marketplace, you've got to use 100% of the ways. Uh, it's absolutely critical. So we're going to go through exactly what we do as far as that's concerned. We'll bring everybody up to date on our latest branding adventure within our own agency. We've completely rebranded ourselves again. Mm -hmm. Back to what I was talking about with my coach this morning. You guys just mentioned it. We talked about reinventing our businesses and reinventing ourselves again. You see, if you want things to change, you've got to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right? Because complacency kills. You can never be settled and you can never feel like you've arrived. Once you get to any one of those three places, you're going to be done. Because yeah. Will Rogers said, if you just sit there, you're going to get run over. So you can't just sit there. <laughs> you got to continue to change with everything else that's going on around you. 
So that's why it's important that people continue to reinvest in themselves. As you said, I mean, we go to lots of events every single year. Somebody, you know, somebody asked me uh, recently about the insurance agency side of things. How much insurance should I buy? I learned long, long, many years ago from my mentors, you should buy as much as you can afford to buy liability insurance or as much as your budget allows. So the question might be, how much should I invest in myself? Mm -hmm. You should invest as much as you can in yourself. And if there's a number, it's about 10%. That's what I try to do. 10% of my revenue, I try to turn it around and reinvest in myself because we're talking about Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn also said, the great, late, great Jim Rohn said, mm -hmm. if you want to have more, you have to become more because we attract exactly what we are and who we've become. So if you're not becoming more, you're going to get left behind and we don't want that for anybody. So listen, I, Mike, I want to be responsible. I want to be, um, what's the word I want to use? Mindful and Mind, respectful. Mindful and respectful <laughs> of your time. Thank you. That's why I hang around with her. She's a big brain. I love it. Uh, mindful, respectful of your time, but a couple of things. So um, taking away, so let me say, let me say it this way. We go to a lot of conferences as well. Um, some out of necessity and some because we truly desire to be there. And I know I'm not just stroking your ego, but we look forward to your conference every year because a lot of conferences we go to, there's a lot of rah, rah, but there's no meat and potatoes. I get excited to go and do something, but then the implementation or the systems and processes aren't tried. They're not true and they fall flat. But when I come to your place, I'm telling you, we leave with nuggets all over the place. And these aren't huge, these aren't necessarily huge things to go and do. There's small little changes that do affect moving the needle. And then again, Mike, just to reiterate, has taken away any price objection. Because if you go there and you don't get your value, not only do you get all your money back, which is a great guarantee, but at $500 on top of it, it's almost paying you to go. But I, I, I doubt anyone will do that. So my next question, though, is a program like this with world-class speakers, three days in San Diego, and leaving with the blueprint for success in my business, Boys, this must be like a five thousand dollar gig, then. Yes, it's less than five hundred. <laughs> nice. Less than five hundred. So again, I, I, folks, we encourage you. To, listen, reach out to Mike. Send him an email. Look him up on Mike. Go through your your URLs in a second. Look him up on there. But uh, you would be challenged not to go check out this conference. Tell us the dates and then tell us the URLs where we can uh, connect with you. There was well. actually one gentleman, he closed down his whole agency oh. and brought his whole team last year. Right. Talk about super impressive. He has been before and all that he had gotten from the previous years, he just knew he had to close down and, and bring his team. So, I mean, that speaks volumes. That's a great point. Think about that. I mean, he, the, he looked at the opportunity costs to have his entire team in San Diego in the conference with you, not answering the phones. That that speaks volumes. I'm glad you brought that up, Lena. You know, the good news is I've uh, kept in touch with that gentleman who joined one of our coaching programs, and they are absolutely just killing it. Yeah. So. <laughs> nice. So good, tell, tell everyone how they can get a hold of you, Mike, what the dates for your conference are, and then um, anything you want to say in, in closing so we can let you get back to your day. Well, we, we, we put together a, a very special offer. So uh, I said less than 500. Our, our normal uh, street price is 497. Right now it's only 297. And uh, so uh, it, it's a, really a no brainer. Three days, 297 in beautiful San Diego, California. Uh, it's a hotel that's right there on the water. Uh, it's, a, it's a win, win, win. So. Uh, there's something about getting away from your regular circumstances, your regular surroundings, and just clearing your mind with the same kind of mindset people uh, that uh, you need to be around in order to, you know, grow your business. So, uh, my my one of my latest rants is your mindset is your skill set. Mm. So sometimes we need to change that, right? So anybody that's interested, there's multiple ways to reach us. Like I've mentioned a couple of times, beunstoppablebootcamp.com. That's beunstoppablebootcamp.com. Uh, that's the URL for the event. There's tons of information there. It's up 24-7. You can check it out. 
If you just want to call and talk to one of our friendly uh, people on our UPP team, 800-770-9984, 800-770-9984. By the way, that's a little tip that I've learned from Jeb Blunt, who I've studied under now and who's going to be at the event. He mm -hmm. says, repeat your phone number at least twice. So that's 800-770-9984. You got to make sure people get it, right? So... Uh, that's our phone number, beunstoppablebootcamp.com. If you want to learn a little bit more about our program just in general, it's unstoppableprofitproducer.com. You can go check that out. It's got a lot about our coaching programs. It's got an interview. I was interviewed by Kevin Harrington and Forbes Riley in their TV studios down in Florida. Uh, that interview is on that website. And if you want to check out a little bit more about our agency just to see what we're doing in the trenches, siaonline.com. That's Stromso, S like Stromso, I like insurance, A like agency, online.com. Go check that out. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff there as well that will uh, lead to the foundational kinds of uh, operational things that you need to be doing from a process and a promotion standpoint in your business to reach 100% of the marketplace. And the cool thing is the 100% of the marketplace that is out there, they're just waiting for you to contact them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thing that I've learned from Jeb Blount is, you know, the phone that doesn't ring never gets answered. Right? Yeah. So the message that never gets smailed, the email that never gets sent. Yep. We were talking about this before we went on. You know, 67% of all success is the subject line or the headline. That's a core marketing characteristic that you need to understand. Because in this busy, noisy world that we've got going on, they don't really want to hear from you. They may not need to hear from you. If you don't get their attention, they're not going to pay attention to anything that you present to them. So you've got, it's got to be bold. It's got to grab them. It's got to stop them from doing something that's vitally important to their life. And if you don't stop them in their tracks, they're not going to read the next line. So the headline should stop them in their tracks, number one. Number two, the next line that you write after the headline or subject line, it better be important. Mm -hmm. And it better not waste their time because their time is more important. Remember, everybody's playing their favorite radio station, WIIFM, what's in it for me. So if you're going to enter into the conversation that's already going on in their mind, you better be ready. You better present them something that's important to them, that's important to the marketplace that they play in, and it, it better have a really good reason. Okay. And I learned from uh, some of my early mentors, so it's not only has to have all that, it has to have an offer, and it has to have a deadline. Now, that offer could be many things. It could be something they can buy. It could be a consultation. It could be an offer to review something that's important to their business. It could be some kind of a spreadsheet. It could have some, you know, there's a lot of things that can be the offer. You don't have to offer them something right off the get go that they have to buy. You see, money follows trust. Hmm. And if you don't build that trust and earn that trust, they're never going to give you the money. Offer and deadline, because those deadlines go away. It's the law of scarcity. I just got done reading the book, Yes, which is co-authored by Robert Cialdini, the author of Influence, yeah. right? Scarcity is one of the six principles. Hmm. So uh, we're, we're going off track here. I could go on for hours about this. But... Hey, I'm, all of a sudden, I'm just like, Mike is dropping those gold nuggets again. I'm, I'm loving it, and again, I'm just taking it all in. And I'm sure we'll be talking about a lot of this in November. Right. Yeah, we, we just want to give people everything they need to live the life that they want on their own terms, to have their freedom, and to, for them to have their money. Yeah. And with a gunny, uh, a gunny, with a money back guarantee. Come on, it, folks. There's no, there's no risk. No risk. There's that much risk. Not three, zero risk, mm -hmm. and uh, you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Awesome. Mike, again, we could talk for hours, uh, and as we have in the past, and I look forward to doing it again soon. But I do want to be mindful and respectful of your time. Thank you for uh, sharing with us today. Folks, look up Mike Strom. So the information will be around here somewhere. Uh, we'll put up all his uh, email, uh, all of his websites and phone numbers. Uh, and then go check out the conference. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And if you, if, if, uh, just look at some of those uh, success stories. $237, seven years later, multi-million dollar business. 100% of another gentleman's uh, 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 success. success comes from Mike. One guy who took his first vacation in 15 years is now having a banner year. Come on. 
success leaves clues and these are the clues that we're talking about so look up mike strom so look up be unstoppable boot camp uh come check him out yeah so thank you so much for your time we appreciate it we always get great great information we're going to take some of this tomorrow to our <laughs> brainstorming day so thank you and um we appreciate it can i get drop one one more nugget yeah, yeah. This is from the trenches. It's from our uh, a sales leader. And uh, she said this a few months ago. I said, what did you say? She goes, GTS it. I said, what the heck is GTS it? Google that. <laughs> fill in the blank. So I went home and I shared that with my bride. I said, honey, just GTS it. She goes, what's that? And I told her. So a couple days later, she goes, you know, I just GTS you. I said, really, what did you find? She goes, you are all over the internet. Like the first two pages were, it was all you. I said, thank you for standing by my side, my love. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, go out and Google my name. You'll find lots of cool stuff. It's, uh, it's been a great ride <laughs> and I can't wait to uh, share the ride to anybody that wants to get on board because uh, it's not only a lot of fun and very rewarding, but uh, it really does help a lot of other people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And again, with that, Mike, thank you again for your time today. Uh, folks, reach out to Mike, and uh, we'll see you guys in San Diego at the next Be Unstoppable conference. All right. Love you guys. Take care. Thank you.